Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as good old uh, Romania. Let's continue on. So we've gotten an absolutely fuck-off uh, encirclement here against the Internationale. Do you guys not actually not have a battle plan? Yeah, I mean, these guys don't... I mean, I guess they have supplies from friendly cities. But they're not going to get any supplies from, like, Paris. Purple, why don't you your front line? Uh, you're supposed to be over here, kind kind of. I don't know. What are you What are you doing? I guess you do something like this. Does that make sense to you? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, but that's fine. Have you four defend this? Uh, we will assign you underneath this commander. Yes, Arai is being so goddamn stubborn right now. Like, they don't want to collapse. And it's like, it's understandable, but like, really? Like, you guys should just give up. I would give up. I would have given up in this situation a long time ago. Like, who are we still at war with in Europe? Italy, France, Norway, Denmark, and Greece. Did you guys get cut off? How did you wait? How did you get down here? Go to Marseille. Go to Marseille and then go to Nice. White army, you don't really even have a battle plan anymore, so delete your orders. Move your way like this. And you're just gonna be your way down south. I think Red Army just holds position. And you know what? Purple does too. Just keep these units in the encirclement. Don't let them escape. But also, don't let's not waste manpower trying to actually kill them off. Okay, centralized power in five days. We actually cut it very, very, very close. You guys are actually going to die. You're actually proper Romanians too. Okay, maybe I've uh, extended myself a little bit too much with these... Uh, some of these southern units, I will uh, agree to that. Yeah, make you guys go over to the Swiss border. You guys are fine. I mean, most most of you are fine. If you can surround Bordeaux, because right now France is at. 37%. The Grand Conference. The last few weeks have been a flurry of activity at the halls of the greenhouse has been prepared for a conference between the captain and the legionnaire movement, uh, Corneo Corneo, and high-ranking members of the movement. From Iona Mota to Rado Bernovinci, to the firebrand Prince Cassantino, all the way to the worker corps representatives like George Klim and Jorge Sima. Excellent. 5% more stability. Love to see it. I want all these guys moving away towards Lyon. Bordeaux will collapse in but a moment. Again, I don't think that's going to be enough to kill them off. Because I think we do need Marseille. They've landed in Calais behind us. Okay, Purple Army. We're going to reposition you, please. It's, of course it's the fucking British, right? Oh, no. The French have broken our ciphers. Oh, well, whatever will we do? Take Lyon, please. I mean, they took Lillet, actually, which will delay our victory by a not unsubstantial amount. Because, yeah, that, that is... I mean, it's, Lillet is a 20, 20 victory point? Yeah, you're 20, and then you're worth 5, and then you're worth 1. Definitely going to be a little annoying to have to retake all of this land back. Honestly, I think Red Army itself might... Eh, I don't know if Red Army needs to redeploy right yet. I think you're getting close, but you're not quite, uh... You're not quite at the level. Go to POW. Research, let's go for... 1940 weapon. We're still in 1940. Like, my god. I don't even know how that's possible. We're still only in 1940. 
There have been times, I th like, there have been times where our, like, the second Vukreek hasn't even begun by March 31st, 1940. And yet, here we are, about to defeat both Germany and the Internationale. Okay. Everybody move into Lele, please. Again, it's worth 20 victory points. It might be enough for our victory. I mean, we have Leon, you know, we have Marseille. The only thing we don't have... Oh, it's so close. 22%. Yeah, we just need Marseille. Danger Naval Invasion in Northern France, Western France. Kind of like all over the goddamn place. The British love their naval invasions. Yeah, all of you move your way to Calais back. Take the city. Like, Bryn, how many more units could you possibly have? You have 28 to 70. You've got these units here. You've got units down in, like, Albania. Are you... Oh, you're actually kind of trapped. I didn't realize that, but, I mean, we still got Turin. And we'll take jo uh, Genoa in but a moment. Okay, we've taken POW. We've taken back Calais. We've kicked the British and the Belgians out of here. The Commune of France has completely capitulated. Which means... Yeah, you can... Let's go deal with these remnant resistance. Don't worry about the Spanish. I think they're, uh... They're probably fine. I don't... Okay, I will admit we are losing more territory than I would like. Purple Army. I'm going to send you down to Pola. White Army, we're going to send you to the Italian front. Black Army, I'm going to send you down to Greece. Again, just for the time being. Red Army, of course, you can just go as aggressively as you possibly can. There shouldn't be too many units in this area anymore to deal with. And what we're going to do is because I think this is going to be the final episode. I, I feel like we've done pretty, pretty well. Uh, we're going to shift R, shift R. They're going to leave the Internationale. And then they're going to shift R, shift R. Make peace with you. Which should end hostilities with all of us. Yes, it does. And that's fine. I'm going to do the same thing with Cuba. Uh, not add faction, make peace. So now we're just fighting people in Europe for the time being. Also, because there's no way in hell we could possibly even think about invading... Uh, all of that goddamn land. Yeah, we gotta hold Milan. Yeah, we got Cuban forces in here, but don't worry about them too much. This will get cleaned up in but a moment. And then we need to, like, name... Can I... Do we have nail superiority in Norway? No, not even, like, remotely. Okay, I think half a black army, we're going to move you into red army. And red army, your job is just march your way into Norway like this. So bring our forces up there, please. Purple army, you're going to crush whatever remnants remain in this area. Actually, no, all of you come back to black army for a second. We can move our units down there afterwards. I need you to be moving your way down to Florence. So you have the regular battle plans. And then White Army, you're going to move your way down to Genoa as well. And you're going to be moving your way down towards Rome. Because like, Rome's not a cap... Or not a capital. Rome's not a... Um... Rome is not a core of the SRI. At least not yet. I have Navy experience. I don't even know how I've gotten that. This, this... 
You're all here, huh? I don't need you here. Where I need you is to be able to push your way into Norway. This will get cleaned up very quickly. Oh, the, the French are just dead? Well, here's the thing. Like, I take everything, right? Like, it, it's that's, that's my France. So thank you, France. I greatly appreciate it. Again, you guys are just going to move your way into Pola. Take that over. And then afterwards, we're going to assign you to the Greek front. And you're going to be moving your way into Greece. These guys are going to get cleaned up afterwards. I mean, there's still a pretty significant number of uh, people in the Internationale. Yeah, all of you just go to Copenhagen. Like, it really just makes the most sense. Yeah, you guys go to Florence, capitulate the SRI. We'll have a happy time there. I mean, we're not, we're never going to get naval superiority here, right? Like, how many boats does Russia even have? 53. Britain has, at minimum, triple that number. So, you know, it doesn't, doesn't seem super likely to me. You guys are fucked. Like, I, I almost feel bad for you. Keyword being almost. Move your way down here. Move your way here. Got naval invasion of Western France. Britain, I would love it if you were to fucking stop that. Like, it's never going... How many units do you even have anymore? I can't imagine it's very many. Okay. I, get, I mean, the Canadians can still declare war on the Union on Britain, right? They've decided to do a, uh, like, a permanent neutrality kind of thing. Denmark's fallen. Okay, which means that you now need to be in this province, moving your way into southern Norway. The other army was you guys. We're going to put you on this border, and you're going to be moving your way into, you know, like, northern Norway. And, of course, go, you know, as aggressively as you possibly can. You guys go as well. I mean, everybody, if you exist, I want you fighting. There's no reason why you wouldn't be. Okay, more. I think naval invasion threats over there is fine. How close is the asteroid being killed? Like, it's got, yeah, they're, they're like right there. Have you guys go to Oslo. Kick the British out of northern France, please. I think the s ride just competed. Eh, nope, okay, not quite. I thought maybe the s ride had kicked the bucket. They're at 20% exactly. But they're going to lose this city, and that'll be, uh, that'll be the end of them. For sure. Yeah, please move in this direction. Okay. You will fall in but a mere moment. The British Expeditionary Force is once again going to get killed off. How many? You have 20 to 40 troops, huh? Genuinely, I, I don't know how. Oh, apparently you've unified the country. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but... Go off, I guess. Keep on moving in this direction. And you, you should be more more than okay. Oh, I guess I should release France, huh? There we go. Yeah, release France under a new government. 
I don't know what to do with you guys anymore. I guess I just have you garrison in pairs for the time being. You guys don't have a battle plan. Uh, garrison here for now. Apparently the socialist Greeks haven't capitulated yet either. Never mind, they already have. We have 500 political power. Probably should spend it on something. Give it to France. We could give, you know what? Give it to South Germany. Why not? You know what? At this point, we can take uh, can take this event now without having to suffer too many consequences for it. Yeah, cut them all off. Socialist Greece is now gone again. And I mean, this is looking, to me at least, like a pretty, uh, a pretty good Vilkrieg. How close is Norway to being killed? Somehow only halfway. I don't know why Norway always is, uh, a much more of a pain in the ass than you would, you would originally anticipate, for sure. But at this, what I'm going to do now, politics tool... Country, you are going to you're leaving? Aren't you not the aren't you the leader of the international? There you go. Dismantle the international as a faction. You can now make the Treaty of London, why not? We're gonna have you guys all join it. Not join. I want you to... I guess that they take off of you. And then you, Britain, are going to make peace with us. And that should peace out the entire faction. So basically, we've done our own version of the, of the uh, peace with honor. And at this point, man, we're just going to run wild. Belgium, welcome. Denmark, welcome. Uh... Welcome, 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 and welcome. Confirm and exit, please, and thank you. I'm just going to Dell all Norway. But I mean, they, I mean, I guess I can just, um, full annex them. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll just let this happen while we're worrying about our own stuff down here. So, fate of Belgium, fate of loyal Belgium, the fate of Denmark, liberate Denmark as a republic, fate of the Netherlands, give Belgium their claims, fuck the Dutch, North Germany, include the North German state, Piedmont, give it to our Italian allies, Rome, give it to our Italian allies, Ruthenia, give it to the Russians. Give this to Greece. Give this to Greece. I think I should have a button that just like give, give them their territory. Okay, not yet. But it should pop up in a second, so I'm not too, uh, not too concerned here. Luxembourg. Give it to Belgium. Wherever this is. Give it to Russia. Central Italy, give that to our Italian allies. Emilia, give that to our Italian allies. Tuscany, give that to our Italian allies. North Schleswig, give that to Denmark. Can Canada actually even declare war on Britain? I mean, they have Project Plow. So I'm assuming they could if they wanted to. They just don't want to. Which, I mean, sure, you do, you know, you do you, but. And I think with that, with that all said and done, organic Italy. I mean, actually, it'd make more sense 
you know, with with great, with, with massive international pressure from uh, from Romania, they control R to select all states. Control A. Two Sicilies is now going to own all of you. We put a lot of uh, support behind two Sicilies because I think they're integralists as well, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they are. Dismantle the economy. Fate of Norway. Let's destroy the monarchy, because why not? And then I think with that, with the fall of the International, them getting relocated over towards the Treaty of London, which is just Britain, uh, Ireland, and Iceland. What about you? Oh, you're also in the Treaty of London. Huh. Interesting. But I think with that all said and done... Actually, you know what we could do? Politics tool would be... You, you, and Cuba should all join the uh, the Treaty of London. It's, it's a new international. It, it's, it's the much shitty international, but it works. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a great time. Thanks for joining the series, and goodbye.